Okay, so uh, mother's hanging clothes out, or she was, anyways. But uh, yeah, I put the clothesline up today too. Um, I had to re-weld this uh, this piece of metal that's here right now is actually off that bracket that I had cut up for the CB radio. I just had to take a little chunk out of that. Um, so, but for some reason, my welds didn't hold. Um, well, they held for quite a few months there anyway. They held, and then I guess it started breaking. So, we just re-welded it. And now the thing is, this metal right here, um, that I just welded on there, that is actually 10 gauge uh, metal from what my, uh, Miller, uh, doohickey thing said. Okay. But my welder doesn't go down the 10 gauge. It goes, um, down to, let's see, there's 11 gauge and then there's one other that, which you think would be 10 gauge, but it's not. It's some other kind of a thickness. So, um, I've forgotten now what it was, but it was definitely not 10 gauge. So, um, so I tried it at the 11 setting, and of course it, it recommended uh, voltage or heat setting too, and then uh, about a three or four on the wire speed setting there. So that's what I did, and I think it, it was giving it actually a little bit too much heat. Um, so I guess it would have been fine if it was okay there, but when I tried welding this, well obviously this is not 10 gauge this bracket so it's a hell of a lot thinner than that so I ended up in, ended up burning right through it so I had to uh, turn my welder down and then re-weld it back in there again um, so guys it, this brackets this is the old flag uh, pole mount this is the second time now I've had to weld this son of a bitch I welded it last year too um, before winter hit and it held on for most, you know, for a good chunk of the winter. So this actually should last me now for another. Uh, if I can probably at least get a maybe get the year out of it, it'll be all right. Now I do plan on getting rid of this mount because I'm going to I'm going to uh, so you guys can see here. I got the Confederate flag. Okay. Um. And then I got the U.S. flag. Well, I'm going to be getting rid of the U.S. flag, and I'm going to be getting my uh, don't tread on my flag. Well, I'm going to be putting those flags on top of the roof, so these mounts here are going to have to go. And uh, so, so these this um, bracket here, its days are numbered, but I think it should last. I just did some kind of like tackle welds there. Um, so, but this here surprisingly welded okay, uh, since I kind of had the welder up, but, uh, yeah, I'm just, le I'm just letting my welder have a cool down. That's actually the first time I welded it. You know what, guys, that's actually the first time welding for 2016. First weld for 2016, so, um, it's not the greatest, but you know what, guys, I'm somewhat new at it and it's it doesn't really matter for this here because this is not going to be a permanent thing anyway I mean its days are pretty much well numbered anyway but I wanted it to last long enough so I could get a new one and uh, mother's been kind of bitching and complaining at me moaning and groaning and she's like well I can't put the flag out you know it's kind of bare out there well you got my flag to put out so it kind of helps but, yeah, so, that's basically it. I'm just going to screw it back on the wall, and then she can put her damn bloody freaking flag in. And I still have to do an uh, update video on that flag. I think I'm going to probably do that once I get it up on top of the roof. Uh, I have to order some uh, one-inch... Uh, steel round bar and then I gotta weld some screws onto that so hopefully my welding skills will 
well, it won't be the greatest, but it should hold up to a flag whooping around on it. So, but this, but this here should work. I mean, it's this weld here looks better than it, than the, uh, the than the last one, and it was starting to rip here for some reason. Uh, it was starting to rip. I had cut two pieces of this just in case I needed two, but I guess one should do it. Uh, the only thing I'm going to have to do is actually grind this weld here on the back down, I guess, because that's going to have to be able to f fit flush against the wall. Uh, hopefully I can get that screw in there. And uh, if not, well, I can just take, uh, just leave it, I guess. It only needs the two anyway. And like I said, this bracket's going to be about done. I'm going to throw it away and get me a new one. Well, I'm going to be getting rid of the U.S. flag anyway because it's about done anyway. So, um, there's just no point to uh, holding on to it anymore. Might as well get rid of it and get rid of this bracket. I think the bracket's about finished. Uh, it's a little bit on the cool side to be welding. It's not exactly, I mean, it's actually warming up here since the sun's out. I'm not even sure what time it is. I don't have my cell phone with me, but it actually should be should actually be okay. Well, when you get out here in the open, it's kind of breezy, but it's all right. Now that yeah, I left my shop door up, so but uh, yeah, that really that should hold it. I hope um, at least for another. I don't know if I get a year out of it, that'd be nice, but uh, I am going to want to get my flags up up and uh, it's not plugged in now in my shop. But see, this is just a piece of that bracket, if you can see that okay. That's just a piece of that bracket. I got another full piece here yet, too, that I can use. So I guess it's actually cold to the touch now, but yeah, so this is what we did. Um, I know it's nothing pretty, but it doesn't have to be pretty to hold. So and if it only holds for, you know, say for, this actually should hold for a while because the, the last one was actually a lot crappier than that. And it held for most of the winter, if not all of it, pretty much. So, if this is much better, or even a little bit better, it should actually last a little bit longer. So, I guess my welder should be cooled down enough, but, yeah, these are just, you know... Actually, I'm going to leave this here because I actually have to grind anyway. So, I'll save me a trouble having to come back. So, that's what I have to do. And then I should be, uh, should just be about done, boys. So, that's what we did for today. I also got the, uh, uh, clothes line up. And, uh, we should actually be okay. So... So it's supposed to be one day in the 50s, uh, so that'll be nice. I'm getting sick and tired of this cold crap, you know. I mean, I thought this cold crap was done, but I guess apparently not. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to probably take off. Um, that's just what I'm going to do, is I'm just going to finish that up, and then that'll be okay, I guess. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to take off, so I guess I uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Stay great. Mm -hmm.